What's up everybody, it's Ryan Dolly from RyanD.com. Check out ComSupport.com for stress, relaxation, immune and sleep support and RyanD.com for one-on-one -on -one free coaching. Um, <clears throat> didn't do a video yesterday and as you can see I got a sling on. Um, when I posted the video two days ago, uh, I put up a video of me talking and then, I'm sorry I just woke up, and then I put up a video of me and my family. After um, a couple hours after I did the video, um, my family and I went out for a walk and I got these extreme chest pains out of nowhere. And I don't know if you guys know, um, if you're new to watching my channel or not, but you know, I've been putting videos up for years and years and uh, there used to be like over 800 videos, now there's a few hundred. But um, in August of 2014, I had uh, pulmonary embolisms from uh, a genetic blood disorder uh, I have. So whenever I get chest pains, I freak out because pulmonary embolisms can kill you. Uh, I was in ICU back then. It was a big, scary thing. So while we were on our walk, my chest felt like it was imploding. Um, I thought I was dying and I thought I was having a heart attack. So my wife uh, took me to the hospital and um, they, uh, uh, the, the pain went away. And then when I was in the ER, it got worse. Um, I actually felt like I was gonna keel over. I was in a ton of pain. Um, and they did an EKG and they saw that um, it was abnormal. My heart was strained. So that's scary. Um, so I had to spend the night in the hospital and they did um, a cardiac catheterization yesterday where they put a catheter through your wrist and go into your heart and make sure everything's like okay. Which it is, my heart's fine. Um, and it turns out that I just had a, it was from stress uh, that called, caused the chest pains, which is scary because um, I didn't know stress could cause that kind of pain because it hurt. Um, it was a weird kind of pain. It was like my chest was breaking. Like my, it felt like someone was like pushing in on my, in the center of my chest and just caving it in. <clears throat> um, and on top of that, I had to hide the fact that I was in pain in front of my children. So I sat on a bench with my head between my, my knees and just waited for it to go away because it came in waves. It wasn't like a constant pain. Um, so that's why I didn't post yesterday. Um, and I wanted to put the video out today as quickly as I could because I was obviously in the hospital yesterday. Um, the, the cardiac cat, the actual, um, test is non-invasive I was awake it's almost like getting like uh, worked on your teeth so I wasn't put under anesthesia or anything and it didn't even hurt um, it was surprising it just felt like burning in my uh, my wrist but I can't use my hand or my arm for two days because they went through an artery and if I do use it supposedly excuse me supposedly it can um, cause a hematoma or whatever because I have the blood disorder and I'm a fragile little baby, apparently. <laughs> so I just wanted to give you guys an update. I'm completely fine. My heart is completely healthy. They went in there. They checked all my valves. And um, I got a good heart. So uh, it was just scary. Uh, so that's why I wasn't... Uh, that's why I didn't post anything yesterday. Um, I will be posting again later on today. But uh, I just want to give you an update on what the hell was going on with me. All right. So everything's completely fine. Um just uh was a scare and uh it's funny like i feel like i'm in the hospital like every six months i'm the farthest thing from a hypochondriac i hate hospitals um the only reason i went in is because my wife made me go in the hospital because you know i got two little kids um i'm stubborn as stubborn can be and uh i wanted her to take me home but then the pain started to get worse like i said it came in waves it was bad when i was on the bench we got up, I went in the car, I went away, I came back again while we were driving home, and she said, screw that, I'm taking you to the hospital. I said, I didn't wanna go. She said she's dropping me off and not coming to get me, so I went in, and as I walked into the hospital, I almost keeled over. So, <clears throat> good thing we just checked out and made sure everything's fine, and um, um, I'm healthy. Just, I guess I'm just soft now, I'm like a soft baby. All right, so uh, check out comsport.com for stress, relaxation, immune, and sleep support. Uh, um, and uh, check out uh, uh, ryand.com for one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching. Um, and that's about it. All right, I'll put up another video a little bit later on today, and I'll, uh, uh, that's about it.
All right, thanks.